Hey Tallahassee, Brian Fantle here with Tiger Rock Martial Arts. And I was recently reading an article and it was talking about how martial arts uh, helps confidence in kids. And honestly, after I read it, I didn't agree with it. And the part I don't agree with is not that it builds confidence in kids. I know it does because uh, being part of Tiger Rock Martial Arts, I've been teaching kids for over 20 years, but the way they said it, I believe is incorrect and it's a combination of uh, studying habits with kids and then also obviously working with so many over 20 something years and so one of the many ways you build confidence with kids is helping them overcome obstacles and helping them feel like they can do it and a lot of times it, it's kind of how you work with them not whether they walk into school and you know bow before they see their instructor or bow before they you know, enter our training floor, that type of thing. I mean, those things have benefit and they teach respect or they teach a child maybe to slow down their mind a little bit and you know, take the time and focus. But give you an idea of how we help kids improve their confidence is we noticed a trend uh, probably over five years ago that kids nowadays are more likely to not take correction as well. And I think part of it is because of what you read in a lot of articles is that you know everything is kind of the now. You can go to the internet and get answers now. You can look things up and get answers quickly. Uh, so the ability f for them to be in a society where you have to work harder or things take time isn't really relevant. So trying to explain to a child that hey it takes time and you got to work up to this is a challenge because everything else contradicts that from if you want something or you want to look up something you go to the internet and you find it within you know minute to seconds and so one of the things we started doing is when we correct them is we do more of a positive reinforcement as opposed to a, a negative reinforcement and what I mean by that is now we see a child say they're doing a kick whether it's incorrect or maybe maybe they're just doing the wrong kick as opposed to the the wrong mechanics is what we'll say hey you're doing a great job uh, can I show you how to make that faster? Or can I show you how to make that kick a little higher? And immediately you'll see a change in their face where you know they'll nod or they're all into it and they wanna know because that's interesting and beneficial to them. They wanna see their kick get faster or higher. Um, but if you think about it, what do most people do with kids? They're constantly telling them, well, that's not right. Let me show you how to do it again. Or you didn't do it correct, let's go over that one more time. It's just constant correction, correction, correction. And so we wanna be different than what they're used to because it's very important to build that rapport, uh, to help transform them and have them do things that give them an advantage in life and that you don't see other kids doing. And so by changing how we correct them and letting them know, hey, you know, you're doing a good job, but let me show you how to take it to the next level or what we call it the Tiger Rock Advantage we see a huge difference in their performance and their ability to pick up things and want that correction. So uh, one thing you might think about is maybe if you're a parent like me and you probably make mistakes all the time because there's no handbook, uh, you might think about that next time you see um, your child doing something incorrectly. I know it's, it's hard, um, but I've when I've remembered and, and done that with my kids, I know it's changed things dramatically um, and they've done a lot better job and been more receptive to listening to what I'm telling them. So I hope that helps. Uh, whether uh, you know, you're a teacher, maybe you're a coach um, with some type of sport or just being a parent in general, but that's some ways, not only that, how we do it here at Tiger Rock, but uh, you might be able to help your child or someone else's child in a sticking point. So anyway, look forward to you know, seeing more kids on the mat. And if you have any questions or you like this, please just give us a thumbs up uh, or you can certainly share it with anybody who it might help. And you guys have a great day.